ordered some nuggets, and this is what I see when I open the box. I would go back and go, excuse me? My copay on this bottle of eye drops is $303 a month until I reach my deductible. Then it's $80 a month. American health care's designed to kill people as much as possible. Uber Eats overcharging me $2,000? What? What is- hold on. Premium to you ordered a plunger on Uber Eats. Impressive, I must say. $10. Okay. I'm just a little blown away by this one. This painful building I live near. No, see, this is design. It's their passion. Wasting emergency services for a prank. Faked a seizure today in Walmart for this week's prank video. Some dude actually called 911. I had to pay a huge fine, but this video finna be lit. Nice hair, first of all. Jesus, you're freaking me out. And I hope that fine was really, really, really big. Also, I hope someone didn't die, you know, while you were doing this. Bought a blanket for Christmas on August 18th. In six days, I got 14 emails from them, all to get me to buy more. Fantastic. Time to mark as spam. Diesel price in Finland. About two euros per liter translates to... Yeah, I believe in Finland right now. They've got, what is it, the third, fourth, fifth highest gas prices on Earth? My mother destroyed my screen because my dogs woke her up. Oh yeah, that's totally a perfect response. Get pissed at the dogs, I'm going to break your monitor. Not that I'm saying she should have done anything with the dogs, but God, she's clearly not stable. My job basically refuses to spray for bed bugs, even though I work in home care and have to literally sleep here for 48 hours. Nope, mm -mm, I quit. A drunk driver drove into my parents' home. Truck landed on my brother's bed while he was sleeping. Brother was banged up, but he's alive and well. Well, that dude's never going to drive ever again, or walk free, probably. All of the bathrooms in my school are locked except one. I sit down, take a and there's no toilet paper. That's why you're always supposed to check. <laughs> you gotta check. The bathrooms at my school don't have stall doors. Ooh, mine didn't either in middle school. Always wondered about that. Are you trying to force people not to take a shit? Or like, well, what's the deal with that exactly? Dear book companies, no one wants you to stick a shitty, unremovable caption on the front of a book saying that it's being made into a movie or a TV series. It ruins the beautiful covers of books and is utterly pointless. Yeah, really don't like that garbage. Blocking five of my business's nine spots, with two being handicap spaces, to go eat at a Chinese restaurant next door. Tow truck! Yeah, that's right, they can tow this piece of shit. My cat chewed my $90 headphones in half on my birthday. What's even better about this is I feel like the cat's never done anything like this before, but just out of nowhere, hmm, fuck you, because that's what they do, man. Someone swapped our display helmet for theirs after a crash. Cool. I d I've been told that this fits here. One month old laptop of a friend destroyed by a drunk friend. Oh, so drunk friend is replacing it, right? Because that's generally how that works. I'm, I'm just saying. My ceiling collapsed due to a leak from the upstairs neighbor. Oh... Being on the first floor can be kind of nice, but it can also be really terrible. This is my hotel's public pool after someone decided they didn't want to pay $2 to use the washing machines. Should have fallen in and drowned, Jesus. I made this dessert to my family of six. Took me two hours to make. Left it in the fridge. My brother, he's 18, just ate uh, just a little bit. Left this for the rest of us. It was full all the way to the top, in the whole tin. Oh yeah, I ate just a little bit. Was smacked his ass so hard, dude, not f***ing cool. Suck my ass for doubling vehicle price in market adjustment. Don't know why this is legal. Na, 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 na. For a Ford F-150, it's great. I remember at one point in human history when trucks were cheap. Or rather, they were cheaper. Maybe not as cheap as uh, the little Toyota Corollas coming overseas, but this is f***ing ridiculous. Ford, are you gonna step in and do anything about this, or are you really gonna sit there and think that, I know it's not Ford directly, but $70,000 for a f***ing F-150 is also bullshit. I'm sorry, they're both stupid. Waiting at McDonald's for over an hour. We walked a few miles there, or else we wouldn't have waited. Okay, well, sh over an hour. Not bad at all. Hours of work, hours, ruined by misplacement of one tiny freaking little piece. I've lost my sanity, folks. I hate my life right now. One time. Oh, no, I, I feel that one. What broke out in 1939? It was one of the most important wars in the past century. World War II. 
Mm. No, no, see, correct answers are, oh, you've said that. Dropped my rhinestone box. Well, that's just, that's just highly unfortunate. This mobile game sent me 10,000 notifications over the past two hours. There is no way. I feel like it just threw up a number on the app to get your attention. Sold as nut-free chocolate. It's not even chocolate. What the hell? Wait, sold as nut free? What? We have two lifts in our building. One that takes me to my floor has been broken for a week and a half because people messed with it. Today, someone messed with the other. So we've had to deal with going up 12 to 15 flights of stairs. Due to the actions of certain individuals, extensive damage was caused to a major part of the lift. We're currently working with our contractors to source and secure the replacement parts as quickly as we can. A further update will follow, but for now, you're all assholes. My mom ordered food and and it came spoiled. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. For a very short period of time, I was doing something HelloFresh or Blue Apron related, and I think we got two shipments that were completely f***ed. This is what Papa Murphy's put on my mom's order because she called in a few minutes before closing. Nice, 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 nice. I bet everybody just got fired. <laughs> Trying to sell a $15 computer for over $100. I love that. It's great, isn't it? They get to pretend there's high demand. Look, just because you're currently sold out does not mean that demand is high. The city of Detroit illegally overtaxed homeowners by $600 million between 2010 and 2016, resulting in an estimated 100,000 Detroiters, most of them black, losing their homes to foreclosure. To this day, residents have not been compensated. Oh, good old f***ing Detroit. Neighbor taped this to my door. Couldn't help but notice that your son doesn't look like you. Interesting. Don't think it's possible for you to birth a white baby. Please send documentation that he is yours to my number below or police will be called. Thanks. Ooh, I've got a strong suspicion this is fake, but if I ever caught this bitch putting anything on my door, I'd be breaking a couple of legs. Maybe even all three. Over 2,000 pounds of fresh pork being rejected by the Walmart Distribution Center because the sell-by dates occur when their stores are closed for Thanksgiving. This product will be safe to eat for the next 15 days, but they won't even attempt to sell it. This will end up in a dumpster today. <laughs> yeah, isn't it f***ing awesome how giant chains like this are allowed to Sure, they bought it, I guess, but they're allowed to just trash it? That could feed so many people. But no, no, time to throw it the f*** away. And it's gone. Printer drank up all the black ink just to clean the nozzles. I just bought these. Oh, that thing so isn't out of ink. It so isn't. When is this going to be illegal? Woman convicted of hitting and killing three Indiana children at bus stop released from prison Wednesday. Was sentenced to 10 years in 2019, but will walk out of prison Wednesday a little more than two years later. Oh, only for murdering three children. Or I guess we could say vehicular manslaughter. Whatever. My brother and cousin both got banned for a week for telling a hacker to stop f***ing cheating. And then the hacker reported reported them after getting banned from the realm. It's so lame, huh? Teenagers recorded a drowning man and laughed. A still video from a- oh, I remember when this happened. Ex-hobo here would like to point out to people who didn't notice this detail, you see how many mid-2000 model cars and older used RVs there are there? That means these people became homeless from middle-class collapse. They had car loans, which many of them are still probably paying. The rest are dodging repo men. The RVs are what happens when a middle-class family loses their home, but is able to scrape together enough to buy an older used RV. There are new homeless, and they were previously middle-class. They did not lose their homes due to drug addiction or mental health issues. Addicts don't typically have the self-control to hold on to a car when they could sell it for a lot of heroin. And severely mentally ill people usually can't get together the, mo the, bleh, the money to afford a car or RV in the first place, much less keep it running. These people are homeless because of the rent crisis. Yeah, landlords, we're coming for you. Person asks for a reward after witnessing a hit and run. To whom it may concern, I witnessed your car get hit on the front bumper. Uh, we followed the car and got pictures of the license plate, but we do require a reward for it. Sorry, but these are hard times and I hope you understand. Uh, cool, we'll meet outside the police station, I'll give you $100 cash. Psych, f*** you, bitch. The median annual pay during the Great Depression was 22% of the cost of an average home. Today it's 14%. That means that pay relative to home costs made it easier to buy a home during the Great f***ing Depression than right now. <laughs> it's because for some strange reason, and I don't want to hear anything about how this is A-OK, -okay, corporations are allowed to buy homes. Yeah, we're still letting that happen. We absolutely need to make that illegal f***ing yesterday. Or it's all over. So I broke my leg. This doesn't include the emergency room visit prior. 
Ooh, let's see. Ah, just shy of $6,000. Ooh, look at all those made up f***ing numbers over there that insurance supposedly paid. See, that's what's so great about the American healthcare system. Which, I would assume that this definitely is the American healthcare system. I mean, I see a dollar sign there, so I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Look, all I know is hospitals like to go, hey, actually, it costs $20,000. Insurance goes, no, it f***ing doesn't. How about this? We'll pay $3,000. Fine, we will. And then we're going to charge the patient like $800. Ha <laughs> Chrome and Edge using more battery power than Unreal Engine 5 with a double A game open in the editor, running Lumen on cinematic settings. Wow, even Edge is using that much more? Hmm. Hey, Firefox isn't using so much. Well, not using as much. I mean, come on, that's a little better, right? Forcing you to install malware and spyware. The comments have also said it'll fail you if it doesn't find your face. Our school's making us use this online testing software to prevent cheating. It just so happens that this software edits your computer's registry, has no privacy policy, policy, has countless news articles saying it's a show and takes unauthorized control of your PC. How fun! When you take a test with the program, it force quits everything on your PC, including Zoom, and doesn't let you reopen it. It also streams your webcam directly to teachers. Isn't that a fun and safe program? Oh, I'd be putting tape over that webcam. You can kiss my ass. Someone scratched my car again! Oh, hooray! And it looks like uh, a little smudge there. It looks like they definitely had something planned, but kind of f***ed up a little bit. This is extremely infuriating to me. I I'm sorry, I don't know what the hell this is, so I don't know. Slammed my pocket in the car door. How the hell? The Mona Lisa got smeared by a cake by an activist. Yeah, well, here's the great thing about these priceless pieces of art being smeared. I don't think you're allowed to get that close anymore, first of all. Second of all, they are under like several inch thick glass. That's gotta be like bulletproof at this point, right? So she's fine. The Mona Lisa's fine, chill. I mean, the guy for doing that, but chill. Someone used our yard to turn their trailer around and snagged our fence. Of course, they left and our dogs ran off. Oh, very cool. The arrogance around the earth is astounding. Doctor wouldn't tie my tubes because I wasn't married and maybe someday my husband might want kids. Medically, my body belongs to a man I haven't met. Second, third, fourth, fifth opinion. Not saying that uh, that doctor isn't an absolute piece of who should mind his or her own motherfucking business, but you know, just immediately start going to other doctors. There will be one that goes, yeah, f that guy and lets you do it. I mean, there has to be, right? Some guy really ripped off my photo, won a 1500 euro prize, exhibited in, well, something, then tried to mansplain copyright infringement to me. Uh, where can I find a Luxembourgist speaker to help? Unbelievable. Wow, straight up theft. That's awesome. My landlord intentionally cashed my rent check three days before the agreed upon date out of spite because I wouldn't help pay to remove someone else's trash. He knew I was barely getting by and intentionally made me poorer. I've never met anyone so miserable. Is there a way to sue for that? I mean, he caused you extra fees because banks like to do that thing where they overdraw for some strange motherfucking reason, and then they charge you fees based on the money that you didn't fucking have. My cousin had a commitment ceremony with his girlfriend this past weekend because if they were to be married, she would lose access to Medicaid and they would be unable to afford her insulin. Just sharing in case you forgot how much of a hellscape our healthcare system is. It's designed to kill people. Five years of loud and late night construction for a 40 floor tall yellow strip light brighter than the sun. Nice. How Amazon sent me a two terabyte hard drive. No box, no padding, just the hard drive in a bag. Well, uh, it's unfortunate that it arrived destroyed. I remember when Zach ordered a vinyl and they sent it in a bag as well. It was fucked. Facebook blocked me from looking through my own pics because I was going too fast. Wow, dude. App doesn't let you tip what you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's mighty generous, but we need to keep these people as close to slavery as possible. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to make very much money. Now, does that seem fair? I, I think I read some reason as to why they do this, but it is bullshit. Fuck you, whatever delivery app this is. I don't care if it's DoorDash or fucking Grubhub. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. You. Couple contaminate drought-stricken town's water supply by dyeing waterfall blue for gender reveal. Hope they got fined and or arrested for the day. Fucking arrogant jerks who think they get to do whatever they want to do. My mom opened my package, which was a gift from my girlfriend, thinking it was a toy for our dog. The dog destroyed it. Thanks, mom, for opening something that wasn't fucking yours. I own a trap house. So many spoons and yet no cereal bowls. I wonder why. 
Using someone's likeness to try to trick people into your scam has to be like eight different kinds of illegal, right? Oh my god, YouTube really has to crack down on the fucking Mr. Beast scam ads. This is not the way you do it, y'all. Your SUV contributes to the second biggest cause of carbon emissions, so... Yeah, that's not how you do it. It's not how you fucking do it. The individual carbon footprint was made up by oil companies. Stop this fucking bullshit, please. 